For our final story, preparing fields for planting often requires the use of a dicamba product. But understanding the best burn down treatment to use and when to do it can be confusing. Nebraska Extension weed specialist Dr. Amit Jala has some answers. So burn down herbicides are generally applied before planting crops. For example, if grower is going to plant corn or soybean and if there are a lot of weeds are present uh, at the time of planting, then it's a good idea to apply burn down herbicides uh, before planting or like at least a few days before planting, depending on which product you select. And you've been getting some questions from growers who are clearing out their fields before planting soybeans. They want to know what dicamba product they can use as a burn down before planting. So what are the main things that they're trying to get rid of in their fields? I received several questions this year uh, because uh, dicamba resistant soybean came to the market in 2017 growing season. And uh, depending on uh, which uh, soybean uh, variety you are going to plant, uh, you can use dicamba product. Uh, for example, if you are going to plant uh, Roundup Ready to Extend soybean, uh, which is dicamba resistant soybean, you can use dicamba anytime and you can plant uh, soybean anytime, which is round, Roundup Ready to extend soybean. But if you are planning to plant, uh, say, Liberty Link soybean or conventional soybean or any other type of soybean which is not resistant to dicamba, then um, we generally don't recommend to use uh, dicamba based product uh, as a burn down herbicide because sometimes it may cause uh, injury. And uh, again, I would say burn down herbicide is not uh, needed for each and every field, but uh, definitely needed if uh, grower has uh, some problem weeds, for example, mare's tail you know, is very problematic and um, if uh, there are a lot of mare's tail population in the field, I would recommend to use uh, burn down herbicide. Uh, but if there are some henbeet or field pennycress or tansy mustard, those are very common winter annual weeds are here and there in the field, then I would not worry too much about using burn down herbicides. And of course, it's always important, read the label, different intervals. Go ahead and stress that if you like. Yes, so you can apply any dicamba based herbicide, but again, you have to check the label because every label says different uh, planting interval, particularly with uh, soybean, if it is not resistant to dicamba. So yeah, growers may need to follow our articles we have written recently in CropWatch, or they may need to read the label if they decide to use dicamba based product before planting soybean. And when it comes to corn, um, they can use uh, dicamba based product um, Generally, the planting interval is about uh, 7 to 14 days, uh, depending on what uh, rate uh, and which product you are using as a burn down herbicide uh, for dicamba um, for corn. Is it ever a good idea to mix burn down with pre emergent herbicide? It depends um, when you want to apply your burn down herbicide. Uh, for example, if you want to apply your burn down herbicide now, and if you are not planning to plant your corn or soybean in a month or so, then I would recommend not to tank mix them. But um, as I told you, if you want to use burn down herbicide and if you want to plant in the next few days, then um, you can tank mix um, pre-emergence herbicide uh, that can save your application time and uh, cost to go to the field again.